Hello Jonas, it is our another session, we are having our CRA class and we are in the topic family. Now in the previous class we did introduce, we did, or rather we did look at uh, the Christian understanding of what a family is. Now today we get to look at the traditional understanding of what a family is. Welcome all. Your tutor, your tutor is Roger Michira. The session watching is Edimu TV. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss the traditional understanding of what a family is and also stating the obligations of a family in the traditional African society. Now, in African societies, creation of a family is through marriage. And I did say that earlier, that we call it a family uh, after you after you people have become um, uh, husband and wife right so it is through marriage and subsequent procreation you can't call it a family if you don't have children in the traditional african society but again we did look at that in christian view you can have a family without children but in traditional view there is no family without children right that is why you saw men could again go marry Right? And also sometimes women could also marry. Yes, you are surprised how, how, how a woman is going to marry. Right? Get that um, the, woman, the, the woman is barren. Right? The woman is barren. The husband has died. What happens? So the woman goes and brings in a wife or a, 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 another woman as the wife. Right? Remember, they are not doing, they, they are not involving in lesbianism. No, it was that lesbianism in traditional African society was not there now how, how was a woman going to marry now if the woman is barren and the husband has maybe died right or also the, the the husband is alive but the woman still needs to have children you know what happens the woman is allowed to go out and marry bring in a woman right as the wife now the woman she has brought as the wife looks for a man to come and get babies with a married woman, right? Now, the children born in that family, they are not for this, they are for that family, the husband and the wife. And in that case, the husband is the woman and the wife is the woman, right? So you see that the woman is allowed to go in, out and bring a woman to sire children for her. Now, family is viewed as sacred and an institution in African society and traditional African society uh, in the traditional African society. Now, what are some of the obligations and duties, right, of a family? They offer sacrifices to ancestors, right? The, the issue of uh, pouring libations, right? Giving dead decent burials. When someone is dead, they get to give them a decent burial, right? Decent, decent burial. Pro uh, providing the basic needs, the family, get, they get to provide the basic needs, the family, uh, bringing up uh, children to be morally upright individuals, right? Further to this, the African traditional family is responsible for, uh, for the upbringing, uh, caring and protection of its children. So also, in traditional African society, a family is expected to participate in communal activities, right? If it is a communal, communal building, all those it takes place, right? And work in the family was divided according to age, gender, and social status. We had looked at this earlier before. We had looked at this earlier, earlier before. Then also, the African family, the African family had well stated and uh, practiced values that were respect for my family members, providing responsible uh, parenthood, educating children in all aspect of life and remember in traditional African society it was informal kind of education for a task can we get to state some of the obligations of a family in the traditional African society for a reference get to refer to um, secondary Christian religious education students book for KLB the third edition as always this is a link TV your favorite learning channel stay tuned for another session
That is a traditional African understanding of family.